Malaysia Berhad will pump 1 billion ringgit into PT Indonesia Air Asia or IAA to resolve its negative equity status and avoid the risk of getting its operations suspended. The low-cost carrier is buying up to 3 trillion rupiah nominal value of perpetual capital securities in its associate. The perpetual capital securities have no fixed maturity date. The group had previously subscribed to some 2 trillion rupiah nominal value or 49% of IAA shares in September 2015. This was to comply with a directive issued by Indonesia's DG of Civil Aviation. Failure to address the capital shortfall would have meant the risk of IAA not getting approvals for new routes or even getting its operations suspended. The subscription will also help to reduce IAA's gearing without any need for AirAsia to inject further funding. AirAsia ex Berhad, meanwhile, is reportedly looking to delay plans to fly to Hawaii. The long-haul budget carrier was going to launch the service in the first quarter of 2017 using its current fleet of 30 Airbus A330-300 planes. The flight would transit in Osaka, Japan for refuelling before flying to Honolulu. But according to the Wall Street Journal, AAX was forced to delay the start date to the first half of next year. This, as it awaits approval from the US Federal Aviation Administration. The WSJ says the carrier may also speed up the resumption of its European flights by renting Boeing 777 long-haul planes. However, the decision has yet to be finalised. AAX's shares rose to an intraday high of 40 cent on the news before pairing gains to settle at 38 cent. Joe Lowe's private banker Yvonne Sia was sentenced to two weeks jail for forging letters to vouch for the good standing of Lowe, the mastermind of the 1MDB scandal. Sia was also fined $10,000 Sing dollars for one count of not reporting suspicious financial transactions. She also faces four other charges. Her lawyer Peter Cutwell said in his defence submission that Sia found it difficult to disobey orders from her ex-boss at BSI, Yak Yu Chi, who was practically the exclusive relationship manager servicing law. Sia and Yak, who was described as a dominating superior, had co-signed the letters. Between 2010 and 2015, Sia is said to have earned 4.1 million Sing dollars working as a senior director at BSI. Both Sia and Yak were charged on October 10th. Yang is now serving his 18-week sentence on top of a $24,000 Sing dollar fine. Kubulan Wang Persaraan or Quap has bought the 41-storey Manara AIA Cap Square in KL from Germany's Union Investment Real Estate or UIRE. The advisor of this deal, JLL Malaysia, says that the Grade A office building along Persiaran Cap Square has 601,800 square feet of net letable space. Its current tenants include AIA and Citibank. JLL Malaysia MD YY Lau says that this is the largest office building sale in Malaysia this year. She adds that with this purchase, Quap is showing its confidence in the KL office market and expects to see increased interest in other Grade A offices. She did not disclose the amount transacted. Her statement confirms a report in October by The Age, which quoting sources say that Quap was buying the building from UIRE for 511 million ringgit. TMC Life Sciences Thomson Iskandar Health Sciences University could potentially be the first Malaysian private medical school to be accredited by Singapore Medical Council. TMC CEO Roy Quack, however, stopped short of saying that the upcoming uni would be accredited as there is still a lot of work to be done. However, in the same breath, Quack says that TMC feels that there will be a few things that will help the process along, such as its location in JB, which would make checks easier, as well as its partnership with the University of Dublin, as most Irish unis are accredited by the SMC. Located just off the JB Singapore Causeway, Thomson Iskandar will house a 500-bed tertiary hospital, specialist medical suites and related health and wellness facility. At present, only two of Malaysia's public unis have SMC accreditation, namely University Malaya KL and University Kebangsaan Malaysia.